Well, hello there. So you want to live in a cave base, huh? New to Rust and need some ideas, or possibly an idea of how that guy might live in the cave three, four grids away from you? Well, come with me and I'll show you my setup and see what you think about it. See if you have any tips or tricks maybe you can help me out or I can help you out, you know? Welcome to the Ferret Den. Alright, we're going to start outside here. Uh, first things first, I got two little entrances here. One for the mini camper. Your mini, obviously, go back and forth a little bit. I'm right next to it. The camper, well, if you're a solo, a camper is like so fucking handy. I mean, you go make scrap runs, you know, take items to outposts, whatever. I, I got an outpost up in the snow. I've got the sulfur and everything right back. Get all the stone from around here. Uh, I've also put up some turrets on the walls here. Little turret towers all around. Keeps people from climbing over the damn walls. It's really annoying. I hate these. Got another one over here. They pretty much go in a perimeter around the base. Uh, once we get through a little airlock here, we've got the furnaces up here, a little surface room. I'll uh, I'll show you all the turrets and do a quick run around the outside. I didn't really hide the wires too well. You can make it look better, but. Uh, I mean, no one really gets in here. <laughs> I've had a couple thieves climb in, but no one's ever gotten out. Another little tower. It's like every other tower has a battery room in it. The, the ones with the windmills, I got a battery in. Let me run back, I'll show you quick how this really simple. I didn't have to make it this big, I just, you know, kind of went with it and snowballed. Uh, just two doors, battery. <laughs> and these things I really recommend, you could probably do even more, like it's it's super cheap I mean, I mean it's what, uh, 60 and 179 stone, I mean that's just nothing. Got my furnace is out here, uh, a couple more, that one has a turret facing inward up top, just cause the furnaces are right there. I, I don't want no one to take anything, especially with the sulfur. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got the key lock and the code lock. The code lock is for my friends to come over and visit. The key lock is strictly, this is all my stuff back here. I don't want anyone trying to... I hate spawning up here and all my kits are gone or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Up here, it don't take nothing. It's a thousand stone, roughly. A little bit of metal, a little bit of hot wool. I could have put honeycomb on this. It's just a storage room. A couple of kits and lockers. Nothing fancy, but effective. Gets the job done. All right, let's run on down here to the cave, and I'll show you the down uh, down below. I mostly went with this because it was wipe day. It was the first thing I found, and on top of that, it's safe from the MRS. This server, for some reason, there's a lot of damn kids on here that love that MLRS, and it just drives me nuts. All right, down we go. All right, we're down below now. So, uh, got your basic airlock, couple armor, double doors here, shotgun trap, locker for some kits, you know, ready to go. I uh, kind of went with the open core. A little uh, storage unit, you know, refrigerator, kitchen type deal. Not bad. It's nice and roomy. I'd like to take this time to thank all the people that broke in, thinking they were going to steal something out of my furnaces and never left this place. This skull shrine is dedicated to every one of you sneaky little thieves. So yeah, right here I got my nice little skull shrine to all the people that thought they were going to get in and not get back out. They, uh, they never left. <laughs> Uh, head on upstairs real quick. This is more like the day room up here. It's kind of opened up a little bit. Got some fires. You know, my little brother's sleeping on the back side. Light the fires up. Get a blunt wrap. Kick your feet up. And relax. This is uh, kind of like the front room. Thank you all for watching today. If you could please hit that like button and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. 
any suggestions are always welcome. Thank you for watching, have a blessed day. Bye now.